When I was a kid, I thought that my dad's watch collection was just awesome. Of course, as a kid, anything your dad owns or does is awesome, right? He only wore those on special occasions, and he had a man cave at my house. And once in a while, I would creep into his man cave and just take a look at, at, at his watches, and I would get yelled at a lot. As a matter of fact, this one time I snuck in, and I borrowed a watch and took it to, to a school and acted like I was the man. Yeah, that day did not end well for me at all. Well, some of you may or may not know that my father passed away last year. Uh, the pictures that I have of him, the memories that I have, I will hold on to that forever. But one thing that I asked my brothers if I could have of his physical possessions were his watches. So I want to show you guys my dad's watch collection. I've added a couple of my own watches to it to make it a little bit bigger. But I just want to show you guys, you guys my quote unquote dad's watch collection. Here is the watch collection. Let me open this up for you. Now, these three in the bottom are mine that I added to the collection. So clearly, I'm not that much of a watch collector and everything else is my dad. So starting with the first one, this is a Timex that is still working. I don't know when he put the battery in this, but it's still working. And I remember growing up as a kid, he had this watch and this was one of his favorite watches and it has now become one of mine as well. One thing I noticed about my dad, he likes wearing watches that have this stretchy band. And that's, that's cool because it fits on my wrist really nicely. It sits very c c comfortably there. Even though it kind of pulls on the hair on my, my wrist, I really enjoy uh, wearing this watch. And also when you press the crown of it, it lights up. So if you're in, in, in a dark place and you want to know what the time is just press on the crown and it lights up the second watch is an automatic Seiko 5 meaning that there's no battery on the on the inside all it takes is a little bit of shake and it starts to work this is the one that I borrowed and took to school my dad wasn't too happy about that but this watch must be at least 25 years old because I must have been about 10 when I did that and I'll be 35 in, in, in a couple months. But it just goes to show when you invest in a quality product, it can last decades. It can outlast you. Your sons or your, your nephews can enjoy that investment. It's a little bit big on my wrist. So when this whole Corona thing dies down, I'm going to have to go take a couple links out. The third watch, I would not have appreciated the, the value of this watch when I was a kid just because I didn't know much about watches. But as I'm getting older, I'm reading more about watches. It is a brand that I have noticed amongst watch enthusiasts that is well respected as a, as a brand that makes quality watches and that is Tissot. This is a Tissot watch. It is Swiss made, meaning that 50% of it was manufactured in Switzerland. To me, it comes off as a dressy watch, so I would wear this with a button-down shirt, even with, with, with a suit. It has a nice sapphire crystal, and it, it sits nicely on my, my, on my wrist. Now, the fourth watch is an automatic Citizen Diver watch. Uh, this, <laughs> I remember when he passed away, I would wear this watch every day, and and I do remember this was his everyday watch. Um, the date and the day on it are a little bit messed up. I don't know if I want to go as far as to get it fixed or I just want to keep it as it is. Uh, it is water resistant up to 150 meters. And again, it's a, it's a, it's a quality watch from a quality brand. He's probably had this longer than I've been, been, been alive and 
it still works. Now the fifth watch, I had no idea what this watch was. I've never heard of this brand before. Only thing that gave me a little bit of indication that it may be a good brand was that symbol right there at the top. So that looks like the same symbol that I've seen on a Swiss Army knife. And doing my research on the brand, it is the same brand, the same company that makes a Swiss Army knife. I thought you would pronounce the name Wenger, but it's actually Wenger. Um, and from what I've seen online about this type of brand and this, this, this type of watch is that these are really high quality watches at an affordable price. So if you're looking for watches that are under 200 bucks, this is a good watch. So I don't, I don't know if my dad was very intentional about collecting like high quality watches that would last him a while, but so far he, I've, I've shown you five watches that were of high quality and are respected amongst watch enthusiasts. Number six is from a brand called Seconda. Again, this is one of those brands I had never heard of. So doing my research on them, I found that they are a British manufactured watch, which makes sense for my dad. Uh, my dad went to college in, in England. He got his law degree there. He's a big, big fan of football, not soccer, football. Liverpool is his favorite club. And he's just a huge fan of the British culture, the British history and it would make sense for him to get a watch like this that was made there and um, doing some more research on it I found that this is a it's a good quality watch for its price it seems to be a, like a very entry-level affordable watch they still have a website up and the prices that I see there are affordable as well watch number seven is from a brand that I again never heard of so clearly, guys, I'm not that much of a watch collector. Uh, hopefully, this collection here will spark my interest in watches. If it's not really a big name brand, I don't know that they exist, which doesn't negate the fact that they may be quality watches like this one is. So this is a brand called Loris, and it is made by Seiko. So Seiko makes Loris, and just knowing the history of Seiko, I mean, I don't believe they will put out a bad quality watch. So I'm going to go out on the limb and say that Lars is a good quality watch. Maybe on the affordable end of Seiko's line, just like Pulsar. Uh, but this is a, one of those watches that has the elastic band that my dad likes so much. And again, it's called Loris. So these two are Timex Weekenders with interchangeable wristbands. So depending on your liking, you know, you can wear a leather strap or a nylon strap. Of course, Timex is a well-respected brand. To me, these two watches are my everyday watch. Even though they are called Weekenders, I can wear them every day of the week. However, I do wear them casually. I will not wear these watches dressed up. And last but not least, the latest to the collection, this Citizen's Eco Drive with a leather strap. Now, this is more my speed. The only reason why I would even consider wearing a metal strap watch is because these are my dad's and they have a sentimental value to them. But if I had to choose between a leather strap or a metal strap, I'm picking the leather strap any day of the week. So yeah, Citizen's Eco Drive, this was the one that I reviewed last year. I'm going to put a link up in case you guys missed it. To me, it has a more of a dressed up casual vibe to it. So if I'm wearing something business casual, then I will wear a watch like this. Of course, with it being Eco Drive, it's powered by light, whether artificial or natural. So as you guys noticed, there were two missing spots in that watch box, which I intend to fill. So let's just say I have 200 bucks, right? $200. What would you recommend my next watch be? Let me know down in the comments the brand and the reason why. You know, it could be from personal experience or just your love for it or just a, a brand that you personally want to get but you don't have just yet. And you would like for me to re review it because, of course, any new watch that I would get, I would review it for you guys on this channel. I'm thinking about Orion Bambino, maybe another Seiko, but let, 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 me, let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should cop next. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. So I'm a newbie. I'm a total novice at collecting watches. I'm just starting out thanks to my dad. Uh, but uh, I will definitely cherish the watches that, that, that he had and, 
and start to build my own. Hopefully I can have enough of a collection that can outlast me. And how cool would it be if I were to pass on what I have right now and what I'm about to get to the next g -g generation? I personally, I don't have anything of my grandfather. So I think it would be cool if the next generation can have something to say, hey, this was granddad's watch, this was dad's watch, and now it's gonna be their watch. So that's the pretty cool thing about and investing in quality pieces. So let me know down in the comments which brand you want me to check out next and I'll surely do that. I'll be back next week with another video, same time, same place, and as always, stay fly, stay fit.